A fencing company in the Metro East is now without its warehouse after a massive fire burned it down over the weekend. It took five fire departments to respond. And new tonight, our Michelle Lee talked with fire officials who say the biggest challenges weren't the flames, but a lack of firefighters. Fanning the flames of a massive problem is a shortage of volunteer firefighters. We try to color coordinate our new hose. Brian Buzz has been the what? chief at Bethalto's volunteer fire department for just hours now. And after 15 years, he jokes he's a glutton for punishment. So it's a cross between congratulations and, and condolences. Something that I enjoy doing on the side right now. Bethalto's 17 volunteer firefighters all have day jobs. They're here because they love serving their community. The problem is there are fewer and fewer people willing to do the same. It's a big time commitment. People have families. Everything's on the go now. During the daytime, it's, it's a struggle to get people to respond. It is a nationwide trend. More about culture change over COVID, though call volume continues to grow. When somebody nine, uh, dials 911, to them it's, a, it's an emergency and they expect somebody to be there and to help them when they call. That's why so many other volunteer departments had to pull together at the Mother's Day fire at Liberty Fencing. And that's what we have to do to be able to have enough manpower to fight really any size fire we get um, because it's, it's tough to, to have a full, full crew anymore. A shortage of manpower, but not a shortage of heart. It's like a lot of hobbies. Once you're in it, you're you're in it for life. And times are really tough here. Firefighters are not only answering fires or EMS calls, they're also fundraisers. That's how they got this wonderful kitchen. And last year, the fundraiser was canceled because of the pandemic. It was the first time it was canceled in more than 100 years. In Bethalto, Michelle Lee, five on your side. And it's not just about the fires. In Bethalto, the chief says 90% of the calls that come in are for EMS, for things like medical emergencies and car crashes. Bethalto once had 45 volunteer firefighters and a wait list. Today, it's down to just 17. They're hoping some people will want to volunteer after watching this story.